Oh, hi. Stu here from Port and Leisure. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to pitch a tent, some generic tips and uh, double guying your tent as well. So I've got a nice tent in my backpack and we'll get to pitching it now, shall we? So first thing you want to do is try and find a nice level flat area clear of sharp debris to put your tent down. I mean, it's almost like we found this area earlier. So this is a pretty good place for us to pitch a tent. So today we've got a Hilleberg Nalo 2 to pitch. Classic tunnel tent, uh, winter tunnel tent from the uh, Swedish brand, really nice. So first of all, pitching it. Now, what you want to do is get hold of your pegs and your poles first off. So someone's done a nice job pitching this and it's all hidden away. So we've got the bag, we don't want this to blow away. So what we're going to do, we're going to lark foot it onto our backpack. Now if it's really windy, that's not going to go anywhere. It'll be absolutely fine. Here's our pegs. First thing we're going to do, is peg the tent to the ground. Again, this stops it from rolling away. Find the back of the tent. Peg it in. You want your pegs to be at a roughly a 45 degree angle when they go in. Now, I like to use another peg, back of the peg, and you can put it on the back of your hand and push the peg in. That way you don't hurt your hand and you haven't got to use a, a rocker to bash the peg in on some harder ground. Next up is the poles. So now we've got the, the tent se se secured to the ground. That's not going to go anywhere, it's going to stay where it is. And we can put the poles together. For ease of putting in the bag, the poles are packed separately with your pegs, pop them in the little bag, and then use one of your pockets you've got on your walking trousers. Great reason you've got all these zip pockets, you can pop your pegs in, dip them away, they're to hand, but they're not going to get lost now, they're not going to be misplaced on the ground somewhere. Take your poles. Same as before, we're going to lark fit that to our bag, that's secure, so if we're out in some really rough conditions, that's not going to get blown anywhere. And we put our poles together. With these poles, it's really important to make sure you push them all the way together. There's no gaps when you push them together, and you don't let the elastic do the work. You put them together by hand, push them all into place. Sometimes it's inevitable they are going to clip the place. You can't do much about it, but if you try and avoid doing that, it just means there's less chance of the poles fracturing. So we're going to put the back pole in first on this one. Try to keep it out of the horse in here. So what I've done here is push the pole in to its foot on the other end. Some tents you've got like a little clip you'll put that into or an eyelet you'll put the pole into, but they all follow the same procedure. You push the pole in, you gather the fabric so you're not pushing too much of the pole in, so you gather it all up. And now with that in the other end, we can push this through and secure it to this little foot here. Uh, this one has a tensioner, so we're going to pull that in tight so that pole is nice and secure. And then we're going to lay that down flat this way. So again, it's not going to get blown around everywhere in bad weather. Next pole. Into the pocket. And the same goes again. So 
now ready to put the tent up. Make sure we've got some pegs to hand. With this being a tunnel tent, we're going to let the wind do most of the work for us. So now we've got the basic shape of the tent done, we can begin to guy it out. You want to make sure your guys are as extended as they can be for the amount of space you've got to pitch your tent. Okay, that's us done. We are pitched mostly for our, our Nalo 2 tunnel tent. What we're going to go and do now is I'm going to attach some extra guy lines to the guy points and um, we'll show you what double guying is and why you want to do it. Okay, so what we've done here, I attached a second guy line to this guy point. Now, the reason for double guying a tent is it makes it much more secure in high wind without actually adding too much weight. So rather than buying a second pole set, which you can do for these tents, you can double guy it instead and it makes it nearly as strong as double poling. Um, I found it to be really secure in kind of extreme wind. It makes your tunnel tent much more stable. So at the moment, it's kind of braced from the wind in this direction, coming from this way. And what we're gonna do is when we peg this out, we're gonna peg it out this way and it's gonna just make the tent a lot, a lot more secure. So I'm going to go around and guy the rest of this tent out now, double guy it that is, and uh, we'll show you the finished article in a minute. So now we've got the whole tent double guyed, and the angles these should be going off at is roughly 45 degrees opposite each other from where the pole is, and that's going to make the, the tent really secure. So when the wind is swirling around and changing directions, this tent is a lot more secure now than it was with just single guy lines on there. The other thing to remember when you're pitching these tents is to make sure that the porch area is in to the wind. So we want the wind coming across the front of this tent. The reason for that is if it's really windy, this is going to move down, and if it's on the back of the tent, all that's going to happen is the uh, fly sheet is going to compress against the inner and take out some of your inside space and possibly cause condensation things to drip down inside the tent. So you get a better night's sleep if this is into the wind. Okay, so when you come take the poles out, what you want to do is push it. So you take the pole out of the foot on this one, and then get your hand where the other pole is and push it through, gathering the fabric up. Same way we put it in, to be honest. Um, don't grab the pole from that end and pull it because you could take the pole apart while it's still in the sleeve, which is not great. So we're going to push the pole along with a palm of a hand, pull the fabric off. And there you go, it comes out nice and easy. So now we've got the majority of the pegs out of the tent, safe in pocket. The poles are out in their bag, and the same two pole up peg points at the back of the tent are in here. So if it is really windy, blowing around, the tent's still secure to the ground while we pack it up. There's two methods now of packing the tent away. If the weather was horrible, really windy, blowing around, you didn't think you could be able to um, pack it away neatly, you can gather the tent up and as you go with the sleeping bag, stuff it into the bag here. This is, a, this is a pretty messy way of packing the tent away and you can end up with some tangles and things in the guys when you come to pitch it next time. The advantage of doing this is it's 
uh, a secure way, the tent's not going to blow anywhere, it's pretty much in the ground all the time. So now we've got to the back of this peg point, we're going to take one peg out, put that safety away. Last peg point. Take that out of the ground. There we are, done. The poles, pegs, separate. And what I've done here is left that pegging point at the top of the tent, so when we come to pitch it next time, that peg point's ready to grab hold of. But I would only recommend doing that when packing it away in really bad conditions. What I'll show you now is the nice method of packing it away. Okay, so once you've got your tent, poles out, everything's ready to go. The last two pegs are still in place. We'll pull it forward, lay it down really flat, get the guy lines, and we're going to just chuck those into the middle. If you're packing this away for storage, you could wrap these up so in nice bundles, but if you're packing it away, you're going to use them next night, I would just chuck these in. The last thing we're doing if it's really windy is messing around trying to untangle guy lines or you know, uncoil them. So if they're like this, they won't get tangled up because um, they're going to be wrapped up in a second. Take the front porch area, pull that backwards to where the door is, and pull this bit reasonably tight. Now we're going to take out one of the peg points. And we're going to put it into, into thirds, this tent. Last peg. Get your peg bag and your pole bag. Now these have got drawstrings on them for pulling them in tight and a little clasp. Pull the clasp bit to the top on both of those to leave them done up. The reason for this is I'll explain in a second. So what you're going to do Take your pegs and your poles, lie your poles down at the back of the tent, stay in the pegs and leave those cords along and that last pegging point you also want to leave out as well. Then we're going to roll it up with these bits always at the top. Tent bag. There you go. So, what we've got here now is the pegs, the pole bag, that first pegging point are all at the top of this. So we, we do this up, they're all there, ready to go. Which means you get to your tent site in the evening, it's windy, it's wet and horrible. Straight away you can grab your pegs and that first pegging point and get your tent secure to the ground before you pitch it. And that's how you pitch, double guy and pack away your backpacking tent.